I just ate an intestine, a pig's in. Interesting. Baby duck inside. It's not what I expected. It's dripping down my chin. <laughs> swallow it, swallow it, swallow it. Hey guys, I'm Sky and welcome to Hanoi. So today we've come to the capital city of Vietnam for one thing, one important thing, and something that you must do when you're here in Hanoi, and we are going on an ultimate food tour with Hanoi Street Food Tour. We've partnered up with this tour company to take you with us on an amazing street food tour to try everything from worms to snails to buncha. We've got everything coming up in this video, so be sure to watch it right until the end to see me and Summer Charlie eat the weirdest and most wonderful Vietnamese foods. Let's go. <laughs> That's to make oh. the warm <laughs> stomach up and create some space. Charlie just asked what the percentage of alcohol was in that happy water and she said, we never know. <laughs> This is like a rice pancake I can't, I can't with minced it. pork inside, yes, okay, fried yeah. shallots, pork fluff yeah. on top, and like a cinnamon sausage. Sounds amazing. Thank okay, you. Okay, you can bring the bowl up near your mouth. Okay. Yeah. I've been recording. Okay, take a big bite. Ah! Oh. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, savor it. It has so many flavors. So many flavors. Mm. It's dripping down my chin. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we eat here. <laughs> That's very good. And this is uh, breakfast? Mm. Yeah, our breakfast. Yeah, and breakfast. It's very like, you can taste the garlic a lot. Yeah. A little bit of basil, which is good. Mm -hmm. mm. I would give that an 8 out of 10. Very good. So a really good thing about Vietnamese restaurants is that nothing ever goes to waste. So she just told us that whatever food gets left over, it all gets collected by like the farmers and stuff who take it to go feed their pigs and the chickens and all that kind of stuff. I love that. What did you just see in the bowl? Geckos. Gecko! <laughs> Cute little geckos. <laughs> That's insane. Okay. Anything that moves. <laughs> Not rats though, right? You eat rats? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's something that I like about Vietnam is all yeah. the food is very fresh. So here you can see all the eggs is so fresh as well. Mm. They harvest in the morning from the farm. Wow. Egg farm. Yeah. What's that one? Uh, that is a herbal food. <coughs> what are them eggs? Quail, Quail eggs. eggs. And you know the balut egg? Oh yeah, we have it here so many. <laughs> Do you like balut? Oh yeah, savage. I grow up eating a lot every day. Yeah. Because they say if you eat a lot, you become stronger. <laughs> so they always recommend boys two eggs a day, grown one egg. Wow. Boys need more protein. Balut. Oh. Yeah, that egg. So when you crack it open, you see the egg yolk and the fetus of yeah. the duck. Oh, nah. I can't that do that. And chicken. I'm, <laughs> I'm very, very brave when it comes to food, but that is just one thing that really? I cannot do. What's that? This one. Do you want to try some blood sausage? Blood sausage. Blood, yeah, blood sausage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me try. I'll try it. Okay. Your Just a just a really really little one. You know why? I'm crazy. Okay. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. What are we trying? This. It's so good already. There's no way. It does actually smell really good. Yes. How do we say this in Vietnamese? Uh, we call it long. Long? I love long. Zoi. Long. Uh, zoi. 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 Long. Zoi. Okay, I will chill with you. Mo Thai Ba Jo. Thai Ba Jo. Thai Ba Jo. It's not working. Do you put it all in one? All in one. Okay. Mmm. Tastes like basil. 
a lot of basil. Yeah, she put a lot of basil. Mm. No, that's honestly actually good. Yeah. You don't think about what it is because it's quite gross. Blood, organs, basil, some fat, something honestly, that, chewy, yeah, mm. and peanuts in it as well. Peanuts. Yeah. Try. That's really good. I didn't even realize that what I just ate, that blood sausage, was everything stuffed inside its intestine. I just ate an intestine, a pig's in. Okay, let's not think about what that was. That's let's quite move chewy, on. right? Yeah, it was quite chewy. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. oh, I like frogs. Where's the frogs? I can't see the frogs. Oh! In the net. She already saw so many frogs in the morning. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! Of course, they're alive! Oh my god! It's a fresh market. Right. It's next level fresh. Are you gonna eat some frogs? No. <laughs> I, I like frogs though. Interesting. Oh man! There's a pig on. Fresh. Oh, Don't get, get fresher than that. Than that. <laughs> he, he often put the head and all the organ in the basket in the front. Oh man! What about the dog? Is that dog getting cooked? <laughs> yes, he, if he's not carrying, uh, careful. Yeah, he needs if to he be careful on the street. They'll cook him. <laughs> cook him for breakfast. <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> this is one way to dive right into the Vietnamese culture. I'm telling you, you cannot come to Vietnam without going on a food tour and diving straight in with the street food and just trying ev everything. Let's go. <laughs> Gonna try what? Donuts, nice. Donuts. We don't have any chair table. That's it's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I chose this shop because I know how fresh it is. Okay. It's from scratch. What, what is it made of? Made of sticky rice. Oh. So that's oh, you go, you go. I go first. <laughs> right. Come on. Oh. Take it. Get some. What is it? Baby duck inside. No. <laughs> Come on. No, it's not. What is it? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going first. You can go first. Yeah. What is inside? Is it actually? <laughs> yeah. I don't trust you anymore. Take it, big bite. You can taste it. Please tell me that That's it's it. not baby duck. Can you hold this for me? So I just so it's. Um, it's baby duck inside. No. no. <laughs> okay. No, <sorry. laughs> it's not good. Crispy. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Yeah, and then soft. Oh. Small. <laughs> Is it good? I know. Oh my god. It tastes like a toffee apple. You know like what we get at the goose fair? And then inside is like the... Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure about the mung bean. Mm -hmm. But the outside, so good. Yeah, was, well, like, the thing inside was good. Yeah, the mung like, bean... It tastes like a bit potato-y. Yeah, the mung bean had like a potato-y texture. Imagine like chickpeas, like when you bite into a chickpea, kind of had that kind of texture. I'm not sure on that, but the rest of it, yeah, good. so good. On to the next. Okay, you're ready for some warm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ah! Cha. Cha zui. So this is sandworm pancake. <laughs> It's a uh, sandworm mixed with egg and deep fried with lots of herbs. So the sandworms, they can't actually farm them. So we're very lucky today to try this because they are seasonal. So they only get sold obviously at one time of, in the year. Um, and this is classed as expensive street food for Vietnamese people. Sauce. Lots of protein in there. So take the squirrel. Yeah, to so tap it. I'll go for this part. It's really hot, so take a small bite only and dip in the sauce. Dip in the chili? Yeah. It's very hot. Small bite only. Mmm. <laughs> that dill, that dill makes it taste. Oh, do you want to try just the warm So much better. Oh man, are you going to do this to me? Is it bigger? For you? 
She's pulling the worm out. Come on, no do it, do it, do it. I've got water, I've got water. Do it. Just swallow it, just swallow it. Swallow it. I just have no. Swallow it, swallow it, swallow it. Go, go, it's a worm. Just think of it, it's protein. Here you go, we've got water. Go, 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 go. Woo, 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 woo. You did it, woo, woo. Yeah. Can feel the worm protein kicking in already. I'm ready to try more weird shit. <laughs> so that is the level one of worm. That's level one? We also have like... <laughs> Why do they eat, why do you eat on such small chairs? Is there uh, a reason for it? Yeah, so many reasons. <laughs> so one of them is because it's yeah. illegal to eat on this pavement or sidewalk. Right. So when police come nearby, they actually have to pick up everything, chair, table, and go huh. indoor quickly. Oh <laughs> my god! All the owner here, they only buy the, the plastic light. Yeah. So you can carry inside as much as they can. Right. Also, if it gets broken, it's easy to replace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah True. Exactly. Yeah. And we are small people, we don't need big chairs. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. These Vietnamese people are smarter than you think. <laughs> That's efficient, efficient. <laughs> They're so small. Like, what even could be behind here? Uh. Oh my god, it's actually bigger than you think. Jesus! This is the cafe. Cafe Jiang? Yeah. Everyone was telling me to come here. There you go. God, it's massive! How? Who would have thought that tiny alleyway led to this huge cafe? So we're at Cafe Zhang here in Hanoi and it is the most famous coffee shop here because it founded egg coffee. So in the 1950s, obviously there were no cows, no milk, all on the land. So there was Mr. Zhang who worked with a French chef and he learned the technique for to make mass meringue meringue and then he thought ah being the smart guy he is i'll try the meringue technique and mix it with coffee so then he made a coffee so the technique is to fold it, fold it like this you still mix the egg with coffee mm. Mm. that is like the creamiest of heaven, I've ever tried. Oh, it's so good. It just smells really eggy, and I hate the smell of egg. But it tastes unbelievable. You can also get mixed egg coffee as well, so you can get it mixed with like Oreo or with like cinnamon and lots of different flavors, which is probably really nice. Egg coffee is amazing i'd say a nine out of ten just because i don't like egg that much and it does leave a little bit of an eggy taste in your mouth afterwards that's the only thing i don't like about it but other than that it's really really good Tried snails in my entire life. Think it's pretty gross, but 
You're only in Vietnam once. We are sitting on the other side of the road because the restaurant's too busy, so hopefully that means it's good. different types of snails as well which I didn't realize but they're surprisingly quite good I actually do like mussels they kind of have the same texture as mussels so very very nice another little funny thing though is that it's actually illegal to eat out on the streets so they've got the plastic chairs which is what I was telling you before but there there's a police car right here but they've paid the police so that they can eat on the street <laughs> anything goes in vietnam anything goes we are all fooded out i've got a beer belly not a beer belly <laughs> a food belly <laughs> a food baby jesus christ um, it's been so much fun it's been a real good tour and the name of this food tour is hanoi street food tour if you're ever in hanoi hit up hanoi street food tour i'll put a link to their website in the description box below if you want to see more videos be sure to follow me on TikTok at Sky Sun Meals because that's where I put all my food videos. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, you know what to do. Thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> See you in the next one. I don't know why I'm so giddy. I think that beer's got to my head. Ciao.